So we have the situation where a spherical balloon is being inflated at a rate of 10 cubic centimeters per second, and we want to find how fast the radius is increasing when the radius is 5 centimeters. That means we need a relationship between the rate that the volume is increasing and the rate that the radius is increasing. So let's start with the re relationship between the volume and the radius for a sphere. So V equals 4 thirds pi r cubed. Let's also now see what we know. We know that the volume is changing. It's increasing at a rate of 10 cubic centimeters per second. So dv dt is going to be equal to 10. We're going to be looking for the rate that the radius is changing. So we're looking for dr dt. And then when are we looking for it? Well, we're looking for it when the radius is 5 centimeters. So there's kind of a uh, all of our information. So we need to get the relationship between the rates, and we do that by taking the derivative of both sides with respect to time. So the left-hand side, pretty straightforward, it's dv dt. The right-hand side, 4 thirds pi is a constant. And now we'll take the derivative of r cubed, which is 3r squared, and then, because it's implicit differentiation, dr dt. Uh, we can simplify this a little bit by canceling the r's. And we have our relationship between our rates. So now we can simply plug in our values. So we get 10 equals 4 pi, the radius is going to be 5, squared, and then dr dt is what we're looking for, so it's okay that we don't know it yet. So we get 10 equals 100 pi times dr dt. And to finish, all we have to do is divide. So we get 10 over 100 pi. Or that will simplify down to 1 over 10 pi. And that's, a D, that's a for our dr dt. So the last thing we want to think about is what are our units on this? Well, the radius is measured in centimeters, time is measured in seconds, so this is going to be centimeters per second. And there's our answer.